In this video, I'm going to create some text and I'm going to show you how to make it a vector. So I'm inside of Inkscape. On the left hand side, I'm going to click on this little A button. This is my text tool. I'm going to make a nice big window and I'm going to type in the word text. Now, if you'd like to change the font for this text, you'll go up here to the top. I've got it set to veneer and then I can see all my different fonts that I have. I'm going to change it, for example, to Arial Rounded Bold. You can then simply select it and then you can make it larger. You can stretch it out. And if you'd like to keep the aspect ratio, you'll want to hold down the control key and that makes it nice and big without stretching the text. Okay, so now the question is how do we make this text into a vector? When I click on the edit paths by node option, nothing is coming up here. I don't have any nodes inside this text. So I can't change it like I would a vector. I can't modify it. So it's pretty easy to make this into a vector. You're going to go up here to path and then you're going to select object to path. A vector is a path. And now when I click on edit paths by node, you'll see it's now a vector. There's a bunch of nodes that come up. I can change the font color here to a darker color so you can see it easier. But you'll see these nodes. When I zoom in, I can now move these nodes. This is now a vector. So if you really want to tweak your fonts, maybe you want to create a new font or you want to make some weird effects on your font, you can do so by changing it into a vector and then having it modified. I do want to point out once you change it to a vector, it's no longer text. So if I click on the text tool and I hover over this, it's not going to recognize this. It's become an image at this point. So now when I'm typing more text, it's not picking up the current text that I've already changed into a vector. I hope you found this quick walkthrough helpful. I love using Inkscape. It's free. I have lots of videos on my channel like this one. Check it out and have some fun using Inkscape.